comfortable, I imagine. <laughs> oh, she does, does she? Hmm. Yes. You imagine? Well, I you imagine, don't. I imagine, yes. You don't know. Uh-oh. Are you all right, dear? Uh, oh, yes, dear. Perfectly fine. So she's so she wants to be Oh, so she wants to be comfortable, does she? Well, I'll see about that. Huh. I had known until just a minute ago that you have a son. What? A son. I hadn't known. Uh, she told you about that? Yes. She told you about him. About your son. And you say yes. she's changing? Yes. And she mentioned your son? Yes. Okay, Martha. Okay. Hmm. You look a little pale. Would you like a... Uh, uh, oh, yes. Uh, a, a little brandy, please. Just a drop. Okay, Martha. Okay. Uh, may I use the uh, bar? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Help yourself. Drink away. You'll need it as the years go on. Uh, what time is it, dear? Um, 2.30. Oh, it's so late. We really should go home. What for? You got the babysitter waiting? I told you we don't have any kids. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, you know, I wasn't even listening or, or thinking, whichever applies. You have, Martha, you've got to instruct me. We'll go in a little bit. Oh, no, no, go, no, you mustn't go. Martha is changing. And if Martha is changing, she is not changing for me. No, no, no. Martha hasn't changed for me in years. And if Martha's changing, that means we may be here for days. You must remember that you are being accorded an honor. And Martha is the daughter of our beloved boss. She is his right, right ball, you might say. <laughs> you may not understand this, but I wish you didn't talk that way in front of my wife. Oh, now. Oh, really? Oh, yes, well, I suppose you're right. We'll leave that kind of language to Martha. What kind of language? Oh, well, here you are, my pet. Well, now. Why, Martha, your Sunday chapel dress. <laughs> well, that's uh, most attractive. Oh, you like it? Good. Hmm. Uh, what did you mean by screaming at me up the stairs like that? Well, we got lonely for you, dear. We missed the, we got lonely for the purr of your little voice. <laughs> Uh, like. Well, oh, well, then you just trot over there to that fari poo and, and make mommy a great big dweek. Right. <laughs> right. Hey, uh, let's see. Is this? You must be some kind of boy. Well, did you two have a nice? Well, time? did you two have a nice talk while we were gone? Did you guys solve all the problems of the world? Well, no. Well, we, what um, we did actually, if you really want to know, what we did actually is we tried to figure out what you two were oh, talking God. about. Oh, God, aren't these men something? Aren't the line? Aren't these men the absolute limit? Aren't these men the absolute limit? Why didn't you, why what? Didn't you sneak upstairs? Why didn't you them? sneak upstairs and find out? Oh, well, I didn't. It? Listen, Martha, I would have peeked. <laughs> <laughs> it's a and now, sorry. It's a conspiracy. Yes. <laughs> and now we'll never know. Shucks. <laughs> hey, you must be quite the boy to get your master's degree of what? Is it 12? <laughs> well, 12 and a half, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 19, really. Oh. Honey, you need to mention that. It's just a little. Oh, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Oh, that, that slight. Well, that's very impressive. Yes, that's very impressive. Uh, you bet it is. <laughs> I said I was impressed, Martha. I'm beside myself with jealousy. Mm -hmm. What do you want me to do? Grow up? <laughs> no, really, that is quite impressive. And you should be very proud. Oh, he's a pretty nice fella. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well? It's mine. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if you did make it to the chairman of the history department. Biology. Oh, the biology department. I seem to be preoccupied with history. <laughs> oh, my God, what a statement. I am preoccupied with history. <laughs> George is not preoccupied with history. George is preoccupied with the history department. George is preoccupied with, with the, the history, history department, department because, because he is not the history department. He's only in the history department. Yes, Martha, we've been all through this. We don't need to go through it again. Uh, keep it clean. Keep it clean, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. uh, George, and this is where I go after him, line. George is bogged down. George is bogged down by, <laughs> by the history department. 
No, no, George is a, is a bog in the history department. George is a bog in the history department. A, a fen, a swamp. <laughs> hey, swamp. Swamp, hey, hey. <laughs> yes, Martha, may I get you something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. can light my cigarette if you have a mind to. No. There are limits, Martha, to which a man may extend himself. Uh, that's, uh, there's only so many rungs on the old evolutionary ladder, which is right up your line. Oh. And that's a funny evolutionary ladder, Martha. A guy can't just start climbing back up once he's descended. You can't just continue raising yourself up once you go down on it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Now I'll hold your hand when it's dark. Now, oh Martha, I will hold your hand when it's dark out, and you are afraid of the boogeyman. And I will tote your gin bottles out after midnight so no one will see. But I will not light your cigarette. And that, as they say, is that. Jesus. <laughs>